Creating a viable product takes a lot of time, insight, and intent during a process known as product development. Throughout this process, considerations are made as to how the product might be used, both correctly and incorrectly, and how alterations can be made to the finished product to better suit final manufacturing. 3D printing makes it significantly easier to test, improve, and iterate your designs, which means a quicker turnaround from idea to product. Let's take a look at the different materials that are most beneficial to the process of product development. With 3D printing, it becomes significantly easier to iterate and improve on your design. Thus, it makes the most sense to focus on function first before you take a look at making your parts pretty. As such, start with PLA 3D printing filament to find the right shape of the part. Make sure holes line up or that joints fit together nicely. PLA is a simple, easy to print and low warp filament that will enable you to create your design and identify the points that need improvement without a lot of time or cost invested. Once you've locked down the function, then you can move on to prettying up your 3D model so that you can have really nice looking 3D prints. Form follows function, and with function taken care of, we can move on to other filaments that are better suited for aesthetic changes. Depending on which direction you want to go, you can use ABS if you intend to sand and polish the 3D print to a smooth finish, so you can easily paint it as a mock-up for the full production finished product. ABS is also one of the most temperature-resistant filaments out there, making it an ideal choice for prototypes that intend to be used in some high-heat environments, like the inside of a hot car on a summer day. Alternatively, tough PLA, which is a modified form of PLA, can withstand higher temperatures after being annealed and it can sand easily. You may want to consider trying it if you'd rather avoid 3D printing with ABS. Once you're ready for production, there are many options and paths you can take. Many companies are moving away from large-scale manufacturing using expensive injection molds and instead looking inward for batch printing with 3D printer farms. For this application, there are dozens of engineering grade materials available, like glass fiber infused nylon G, carbon fiber infused nylon X, and filament designed by major manufacturing firms like BASF or DSM. For some, a colorful set of PLA is perfect for custom cookie cutters, while others need the high strength of nylon X for their unique intake manifold. Weigh the cost and benefits of working with long-term injection molds compared to shorter-term batch printing, which does give you the freedom to iterate and release a new design within hours, instead of a back and forth of whether or not to create a new injection mold or just make the changes further down the line. Product development isn't easy, but with 3D printing, the whole process becomes a lot simpler to break down into separate, easily digestible pieces that can be brought in-house for a quicker turnaround. Do you already use 3D printing during your product development? I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers. Thanks for watching. Hey there, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video on product development. It's actually something that we use pretty regularly with our Pulse 3D printer to make sure it's the best that we can make it. If you want to read some in-depth articles, you can go to matterhackers.com or to stay up to date with all of our digital manufacturing content, be sure to click subscribe. See you in the next one.